Bob Junkies, how y'all doing? Welcome to another episode of Let Me Out. I'm your host, Spencer Cancer, also known as Number 11. Join the Dark Order. On today's installment, we're going to open up Elite Series 79, Daniel Bryan. Yes, yes, yes. So we're going to be open up Mr. Uh, yes, movement himself, the man who defeated Triple H at WrestleMania 30, and the man who defeated Batista and Randy Orton, a triple threat match to win the WWE Championship and the World Heavyweight Championship uh, in New Orleans. So, I'm going to crack this bad boy open, see what's up. As my friend Jovan is about to cry after he watches this, it's time to let me out. Hold on. Here you go. Remember, I'll let me out for you inbox collectors. Sorry. There's him right there. Daniel Bryan, the leader of the Yes Movement. So, gonna get a close-up shot of him there. Got him with his signature pointing fingers, the Yes, Yes, Yes Movement. Uh, you got this great uh, kind of black and green gear. I'll give you a better shot of that in a minute here. Um, he comes with a replaceable head. This is the one kind of like from the, the new... Daniel Bryan, there's a shot of that right there, the creepy, creepy heads that uh, some people are not a fan of, but I like it. Then of course he comes with some interchangeable hands, you have some open hands right there, you got some closed fist, and then kind of like some closed uh, open hands right there. So, those are all the accessories, so, kind of going forward. Again, there's a space, it's a really good scan of him there. That's the one I would probably use if I keep this one in the collection. Uh, you get the black, kind of black and green gear right there on the bottom. This is, uh, I think this is when he's rocking the new Daniel Bryan gear. And of course you get the back. There's that, and then you got your normal articulation like you had from the R-Truth. So with that, you have like, you can move, you know, swivel the hands a little bit, uh, do the elbow joints, there, a uh, little head movement, back and forth, not really, a little bit to the side, side not crazy. Uh, then you got bicep swivel there, you got some ab crunch. You got his, uh, that, uh, the body swivel. So you move that way. Then bend in the knees. So you can do a flying kick. You can do a claymore kick. <laughs> Not just Drew. Uh, and then right here. Yeah, this is like boot cut there, move that around. And then you can kind of move the feet a little bit, but it's very limited right there. So you can't really do anything with the feet. So that's about the range of articulation. Um, so then if you wanted to replace the head, you do this very carefully. You take the figure. Well, actually that came off really easy. Sometimes you have to uh, heat it up to get it off, but this one's actually okay. So then pop this head on here. Do it very, very carefully because I will cry. You don't want to push it too far. But uh, yeah, there's the updated head scan there. That's based, that's probably like how the old one, it's on there. Usually we'd hear a pop, but didn't really hear too much of a pop, but it's definitely on there for sure. And you can move it around. So that's up. And then if you want to replace the hands, so be careful with these because these pegs, are very long, so I've done it before. 
I've broken one. I replaced like the head and peg broke off. Not fun to replace. So, take that off. And you can put these hands on. Just for, uh, see what they look like. And boom. There you go. Very simple. Just be careful when you're replacing it. You got like a whole new figure. We've got new hands and a new head. So you might even need to get two of these. Um, yeah, that's going to wrap it up here for the my review of Elite 79, Daniel Bryan, the leader of the Yes Movement. You know what? It, it's a solid figure. I will give it, I'll give it a seven. Uh, good detail. I mean, there's not much you could do with that figure. Uh, good head scans. Um, I'm trying to say like the higher tiers for like the really elite figures. You're going to be picking this figure up. Uh, if you do, let me know. Uh, share some photos or uh, let me know uh, what, you, what you think about this figure in the comments below. Um, thank you again for joining me for another episode of Let Me Out. Uh, there's going to be many more installments coming. Just make sure you guys are following us on all the socials right here on YouTube. Hit that notification bell so you're part of the notification squad so you know when we drop uh, new videos every time on Pro Wrestling Junkies. And then subscribe to our Twitter, uh, Instagram, and then also make sure you guys are part of the group. Um, if you're not, you should. It's like the best place to be. And then check out our uh, Pro Wrestling Junkies marketplace as well. Um, and then check out all our great podcasts we have as well. Um, I myself, I'm on the Junkyard with DDJ and Giovanni Tuhati, El Guapo Tuhati. Uh, DDJ host, What Do You Say With DDJ? And we also just put uh, such a good shoot on our uh, PWJ pod squad. So make sure you guys check those all out. Uh, thanks again. I'll see you on the next installment of Let Me Out.